I'm going to show you how to hand code a table. So let's go back to our My Website folder and let's access the hand code page. So you can see George is my best friend, but Carl is also very cool. And there's a hyperlink there. So let's start to build a table. I'm going to put the table right below this hyperlink here so we're not going to mess with anything we've created before. So I'm going to go to view. I'm going to view the source code. And this comes up. And I'm going to make the font a little bigger so that you can see it. And just so if you notice that it looks different, I'm just making it bigger so you can see it. Okay, so here we have that hyperlink, but Carl is also very cool. And let's go below that. And we're going to create a table, and here's how you create a table. So first I want to center my table, so I'm going to put this code in, center, and then I'm going to close my tag. Okay, and everything's going to be, the whole table is going to be within the two center tags. So I'll put some space in between them. Now I'm going to open a table, so I'll do my bracket, hit table, and then as soon as I open a table, I'm going to close the table. But everything's going to be in the table is going to be in between these two brackets, these two tags rather. So I'm just going to collect all the closing tags at the end and have all the starting tags near the beginning. Now the next step in creating a table, you always want to make a row, and this is the tag TR, table row. And I want to close the row. Okay, if I wanted a second row, I'd start it here. Let's just make a basic table with one row. Now in that row, if I want to create a cell, I have to do TD, and then I have to close TD. So now I've got a one by one table because I created my table, I created row one, now I, I always have to create a cell within that table. So I created one cell and I put the number one in there so you can see it. So let me save this and let's go back to our page and we'll hit refresh and we'll see this little table popped up. We, we don't have a border on our table yet so it's just the one. So let's go back to our hand code and notice how this is really close to this hyperlink. Let me put a paragraph break in between just to give us a little bit of room. So before we do the table, let's create a paragraph and a line break just to give it some space. So let's save that. We go back to our page and hit refresh. You'll see that move down. Let's go back into our code and for table, let me give an attribute border equals one. I'm going to save this. So you just hit save and you go back and hit refresh and you can do your changes without an editor. So now we have a little border with one cell, one row, one cell in there. So obviously there's one column. Now if we wanted to put two rows across, we have not two rows, two cells across, one row, two, two columns. We've already got our first cell here. We got to create another cell here and we'll put a 2 in here and then we'll close our TD. Now, just to make this easier to read for you, we open the row. I like to put my code like this. And then we close the row. So here you can see open the row, we started a row, we closed the row, and now we have two cells. One cell here, one cell here. And just to make it a little bit easier for you to see, we'll leave a little space here. And so if you separate it, it's easier to read the code. Let me go and save it, and now let's go back here and hit refresh. Now we've got one, two. Let's go and make this entire table, we can add another attribute, let's make it 600 pixels. I like using pixels, not the percentage method, but I could also put in like 50% or something here. So I've got 600 pixels. Now let's let each of these the TD is how we start a cell. So we can also put the width in here. Since we have two cells, let's make it 300 each. And I can just go ahead and copy the width equals 300. And then here I can paste it. When you're doing code, always leave a space between the tag name. See how between TD and width, 
there's a space. And at the end of the tag, don't leave any space. And always use these quotation marks. So now, let me save this file. Save. So now we've made our table 600 wide. With each cell, each column is going to be 300 wide. Go up, save, make sure it's saved. And we hit refresh, and now we've got this. Well, let's center our numbers inside, and we do that by going inside each TD, and we can do align equals center. Sorry, I've got two here. That's one way to do it, but we could also take this align and we could cut it, so it's like a copy, but it removes it. We can apply that whole thing to the table itself. And now it's going to apply to each cell. So we just put it up here in the table. File, save, go up here, hit refresh. So then we copy this and we put it in this one as well. Now it's going to center align all the stuff in the cell, the contents of the cell. So file, save, go back here and hit refresh and it's centered our numbers. Now what if we want to add another row? Well, we can start another row here and every time we start a tag we close the tag and we can put TD now we'll call this one three and we close our TD and then we do TD close TD so we started two cells and in here I'll call this four okay and let me just space this out so you can see it more nicely so here's the start of row one and here's the end of row one now we started row two and ended row two. Now when I talk about row one, row two, I mentioned this in a previous video on the HTML editor, so if you have to draw a little picture and think about rows, rows are horizontal, they go side to side, columns go up and down, so I need you to be thinking in rows, I, so I can, when I mention them you understand that. And we're going to copy the same width equals 300, align equals center, so we get that same formatting, so we want to copy this, and we want to go in here and make a space, and paste, and then since it was already copied we can paste again so we paste it there file we save it and we go and we hit refresh now we've got here's a row one and two is row one and three and four cells three and four make up row two